I just completely fogged up my glasses when I breathed into the bug. What do you do with this hand? I'm just casually showing off the bear. Don't look at me, look at the bear. Thumbnails are the worst. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I am doing my October wrap up and November TBR. I only read three months, three months, oh gosh, <laughs> I only read three books in the month of October. But considering my month of October, I'm not that upset about it. Wait, literally only three? And one's a collection of short stories, okay, this is a little bit sad, but in it, three books, that's still, that's still better than zero books. The first book I read was oh my gosh the first book i read was queens of finburn by kendar blake this is the novella collection that goes along with the three dark crown series by kendar blake which if you didn't know is a series about these three sisters who all have different powers in this fantasy world and they have to fight each other to the death for the crown it is a fantastic series if you hadn't heard my rant about it recently you can watch one of my vlogs or you can watch my last wrap up i rant about it a lot in both of those it's fantastic the third book just came out i've just recently read it it is the best i love it and you need to read it this collection is two short stories in that same world following the same queens except for one doesn't the first one does though. the first short story kind of goes into the queens and their birth and with a little bit of a glimpse of their mother and then kind of them transitioning into the different homes they go to live in which if you haven't read the books you're like what are you talking about but if you have you know what i'm talking about and then the second short story goes into the oracle queen that gets referenced a lot throughout the series and so it's like a bit of an insight into her which was also fantastic but made me very mad with the ending the ending killed me guys of that second short story the ending genuinely killed me. What I really liked about it is how even though it is short stories, it doesn't read like a collection of short stories that the author wrote to get a little more revenue, which honestly I understand it's very difficult to be an author, but as a reader it's very frustrating to see an author writing something just to get the money for it and not writing it because like it is a part of the story or like they want to write it, but this book isn't that. This book you can read the series and never read these short stories and you'd be totally fine. But these short stories still read like something that was always meant to be told. Like it doesn't read as if she's going back and like, oh, well, I need to make a short story. So let's like just throw these things together and there you go. It fits with the series and it works with the series. It doesn't feel like an afterthought. It feels like it was always kind of meant to be. Does that make sense? And the story with the Oracle Queen that's all I can say. That's really all I can say about that one. Just a big dramatic sigh. But it was really good. I, I highly enjoyed it. I just, I love being back in Kendra Blake's world. Her writing style is just, I love her. I love her books. You need to read it. The next book I read in the month of October, you are probably not surprised by because again, I've been ranting about it quite a bit. And that is Vicious by, ooh, wait, I have the book. I can hold it up. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This book is about these two medical students who one of them decides to make his thesis about how to create EOs or extraordinaries or superheroes. With this becoming his thesis, they also decide to, you know what, why don't we try and become EOs? And so they do. And it is absolutely fantastic, but so dark. If you like classic gothic fiction like Frankenstein, Dracula, that kind of thing, you will love this book. Think of this as a modern version of a classic gothic fiction. Like, it, I think it should belong in that genre because it is so much like that. Take, if you've read Frankenstein, take Victor Frankenstein's, like, mentality and then combine, if you've read Dracula by Bram Stoker, combine Dracula's cunning nature into that. That is what these characters are like. It's just, it's a very interesting read. The cast of characters in this novel are fantastic. It is, this book was great. It was absolutely fantastic. Creepy, a great Halloween read, or just like fall read in general. Highly, highly recommend. I want to read more of the Ishwa books. The second book, Vengeful, just came out. I just got it in the mail. It's almost too pretty to touch. I'll show y'all in another video later, but I'm going to read it soon, hopefully. And the next book I read was The Rich... Rich? And the next book I read was The Witch Way Cree... Cree? What? 
Can I not talk today? The next book I read was The Witch Way Tree by Elizabeth Cook. Crook? Crook. This book is a bit difficult to describe. It it's essentially about this young girl whose mother was killed by a panther and that panther also like completely mauled her face and so her face is completely like covered in scars and it's a very grotesque sight. And she is just dead set on revenge. And that's how the synopsis kind of describes it, but that's not how it reads to me because it's told through her brother Benjamin's letters to this judge. The first chapter opens up with I've, I need to figure out what that person's called but like a scribe in a courtroom when they're writing down what everyone's saying I know it's not called a scribe I'm pretty sure it might be and I just don't remember that it is that but Benjamin is talking to this judge and there's this one character who's being tried for hanging these men and Benjamin is a witness in that and this hearing gets cut short and so the judge tells Benjamin to write him letters to finish his testament and Benjamin goes off on a long tangent story tale when he's giving his testament. So here's my thing about this book. I enjoyed it but I'm not quite sure what to give it because at points I was fairly bored but I really liked the writing style and the tone. It felt very western in that regard. Just Benjamin's voice and the way he would speak through the writing that he was doing was fantastic. I loved it. Did I have some qualms with this book? Yes, there were a couple of things that she put in there that would be common in this was set in Texas, like before Texas was a part of the United States, like really old, old Texas. So there were a couple of things that like alluded to the culture of that time that she added into the book, which annoyed me a little bit. Like there were a couple of times Benjamin would say something like, I felt bad that a girl was talking back to me. Like Samantha, the girl who the panther mauled, her name's Samantha, I don't think I mentioned that earlier. She is a very kind of ornery person, to be honest. I didn't really like her much. She was, she was a bit hard to handle, but she would kind of like talk back to him and he'd say something like, I felt ashamed that this girl was talking back to me in front of these other men who I'm with. And you know, that kind of stuff bugged me. But as a whole, I think it was pretty good in that regard. A couple of qualms though, a couple of problems, but as a whole, I think she did pretty well. So just keep that in mind. But they're the kind of things I feel like you need to read it to see what I'm talking about. Cause I don't, I'm not in the mood to allude to them at the moment. Does that make sense? You see where I'm going with that? But I liked it, but also I didn't love it I just didn't find that fantastic, but at some points I did. And it was weird because I'd just like, I'd kind of fluctuate at some points. I'd just be bored and I'd hate Samantha and I'd hate the characters and I'd hate what was happening, but I still found it very interesting. So I don't know, I haven't given this as of I'm filming this. You'll, there will be one by the time this goes up, but I haven't given it a review on Goodreads yet. I gave it three stars, I think. As a whole, it's like a 3.5, 3.75 for me. Kind of want to bump it up to a 4 for the writing style because I really liked the atmosphere it gives you through the writing style because that was just beautiful. But there are just a couple of things like in the plot and in the characters that I just, I couldn't stand and I did not like. So yeah, I guess the plot itself was actually kind of entertaining. It's mostly just the characters. There are a couple of characters I didn't enjoy. One thing that really entertained me was they have a couple of Spanish words thrown in, in there because they met a Hispanic on the road on their journey to kill this panther and he would sometimes say like niña or something like that or amigo and Benjamin would write it out the way like it sounds phonetically and it kind of cracked me up. I loved that. But yeah, so obviously I'm kind of a bit torn because I enjoyed it but I also didn't and I thought it was done well but also I had some problems with it so I feel like please read it and let me know what you think and we can kind of like discuss it because I feel like it's the kind of thing I need to discuss because right now I'm still confused as to where I stand with it and part of the problem is I read it in such a busy time and such in little chunks that I don't think that helped my situation any but I do think it is a good book just read it for yourself and see what you think and I'm just I really love the writing style I really love the writing style if I could hum here we go, good with that western. It wasn't not the western I'm looking for. If you remember when I was talking about wanting to find a western with a strong female character who wasn't annoying, this one's not it. But if I could get that kind of a book with this kind of writing style, I'm set. So this is the writing style I'm looking for, I think.
I really liked the writing style. Can you tell? I really liked the writing style. My throat's hurting because I'm talking so much and because I'm already sick. This is the same mug, same tea. Mm hmm Last period. That's, that's a long rambly thing. I don't know what's gonna get cut, what's gonna stay in, but I'd recommend reading it. That's where I say with this. I recommend reading it and I think it's a very good book club book because there's going to be some people that like it, some people that don't, and y'all can discuss. And when you do discuss, let me know. Tag me in it so I can also join the discussion because I think it'd be an interesting one. And I just, I really like the writing style. <laughs> so that is it for the books I read in the month of October. A little bit sad, I know. Now on for the November TBR. I, my book's all the way over there, so I'm not going to go pick it up, but I'm currently reading Dracula's Guest and Other Tales by Bram Stoker. This is a collection of really, really short stories. I read the first one, which is Dracula's Guest, and it was like seven, ten pages long, so a very short story. Very good, though. Oof. Bram Stoker knows how to write a little bit of horror. I started reading, what's it called, Upstream. It was a book I saw on Air Blissette's channel about nature, and it was nature and essays, and I just couldn't get into it, so... I didn't mark it as read because I only read like I think 20 pages but I'm trying to let myself DNF a book if I want to and I wanted to so I DNF'd that one. It was just it was too poetic-y for me and I was looking more for essays which sounds like maybe a bit backwards I feel like most people probably want the more prose approach to it. I was looking for the essay style so it wasn't what I was looking for. But yeah so now I'm reading Dracula's Guest. And next, I don't really know what I want to read next. I'm kind of in a slump and it's kind of because of school. Like I'm trying to figure out something that is easy to read in bits and pieces. I'm considering maybe I should reread something, but I don't know what I want to reread. So I'm just, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go this month. We'll see, that's, that's my TBR. That's not really a TBR. I just really told you what I was reading at the moment. I don't, I don't have a TBR. <laughs> I'm going to record on that space. We're going to have to do this fast. So that is it for this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you read this month, what you're planning on reading next month. Also comment down below and let me know if you have read The Witch Way, Witch Way Tree and what you thought of it. It is blinking very violently at me. Um, also comment down below. No, I already did the also. So, cool. Okay, once more. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again on the one soon. Holy.